It was at the beginning we had one machine. It was an educational thing to explain it and teach our customers. It's going to change the whole scope of manufacturing because it allows you to do things you couldn't do in the past. I was visiting a few years ago a manufacturer and I saw some uh, weird shapes uh, that are not doable with traditional manufacturing. I asked the manufacturer, how did you make it? And the answer was, we 3D printed that component. Canoose Godwin has traditionally been a contract manufacturer for precision machine components for downhole instruments. We started producing products with additive over 13 years ago. 3D printing or additive manufacturing is the construction of uh, uh, three-dimensional objects starting from uh, digital files. With subtractive manufacturing, you start with a raw bar of material and then you start cutting away and getting to the design or the model that you want. Whereas with additive, you print from the beginning and you only print what you need. So you're building the part from ground up basically, layer by layer at a time. We have been using 3D printing since five, six years now. One of the Key examples are in Alaska. There are several challenges in terms of equipment that is not serviced anymore by the original equipment manufacturers. The very first trial that we did years ago was for burner plugs. Local machine shops, they were quoting something like 25, 30 weeks. By 3D printing it, uh, we were able to reduce that lead time to three, four weeks and uh, to make small batches and small quantities at the same time. So with additive manufacturing, the future is uh, having digital locations globally around the world. The uh, end goal is to develop a network of trusted manufacturers and OEMs to be able to make parts on demand and close to the point of utilization. In that way, we can move away from a physical concept of inventory to a digital inventory. We started with those Borner plugs that I mentioned. Uh, now we have the largest 3D printed impeller in the world that is going to be installed in Alaska. We are working on printing an entire valve to be deployed very soon. That will be the first off for our industry.